Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Victoria 2 using a special mod that I've not yet featured on the channel called Blood and Iron, which the United States look a little bit different, and we are actually in the 8th great power in the world, but it is now 18, not 19, but 1837, because I wanted us to start off in a conflict, and as you can see, Texas is dead. It's been conquered by a bunch of Mexicans. We can't have that. We'll fix that later on. And also, with a submod... Okay, so, Blood and Iron. It's a special submod recommended to me by, I think, my... Or at least one of my Discord mods. So, it's basically a little bit, like, a less in-depth version of HPM. Or maybe a more involved version compared to, like, base game with the DLC. At least according to what I know. But I want to take out the Haitians because... What is Vicky 2 without a little bit of combat? But I do have to address something here, um, regarding, uh, this is actually really bad to invade with just Hussars and Artillery, but they have, like, no organization, so we should be okay, right? Anyways, <clears throat> just regards to the, this campaign in general, so, uh, we're not doing so great, but eh, it's okay. Let's see, we have some guys up there, let's come over here, St. Augustine, that'd be very nice. We should be able to win the battle, and we did win the battle, not too bad, and we'll take out both operants because we love taking out our enemies. And we want Haiti because... American imperialism never rests. Even to this day. Ah, gotta love it. Oh, look at Brazil. Hmm. They weren't a real ally anyways. But I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, so basically this campaign is coming right off the news, right off of from the news, of the announcement of Victoria 3. So I'm super, super excited about that. Oh yeah, we have spheres we could do as well. Hmm. Spheres. We could do spheres, or... We could just take everyone out. Hmm, you know what? Can we sphere Portugal? Let's sphere Portugal. I'm not sure who I want to really sphere, but uh, let's, I'm going to talk about more stuff like after the war is over because I really want to concentrate on the war first and have a good old time. So, and we almost have the capital done and completed. Nice. Oh, uh, what is this? Abolitionist pamphlets? An extensive tract describing the purported unconstitutionality of uh, <clears throat> good old slavery is being widely disseminated in Greenville, probably North Carolina. Allowing its continued circulation might upset the lower classes, who cares? Where it has seen its wide circulation, but attempting to curtail distribution will definitely be regarded as an attack on freedom of speech, which will anger the districts of bigwigs. Should we try to curtail the distribution? More favor of liberalism and outlaw slavery. Nah, we're good with it. Because, I'll be honest, with this campaign, this is going to be a short campaign, I'll be honest. Um, because I'm feeling a little bit more like states' rights right now. So, let's just say, we're, we're really emphasizing states' rights in this campaign. Like, we're setting ourselves up to make sure that the Irish get assimilated, but we get a lot of Dixie love. Because we love Dixie here. <sighs> oh, and the Benevolent Empire. One direct impact of the religious revival in the USA in the early 19th century would be the explosion and the number of voluntary organizations organized to help improve society by tackling perceived social or moral problems in society, providing comfort to the less fortunate, or promoting self-help via education, dubbed the Benevolent Empire by historians. These organizations help provide a community infrastructure for a social society, rapidly expanding in numbers and being transformed by new economic forces for the betterment of society. Ah, uh, the capital is ours, and which up next? Let's come up here, and we'll probably actually want to probably grab some more soldiers, or at the very least, uh, some more infantry, because we're not having, we actually don't have that much infantry, we've got a lot of horses, there's not a lot of infantry, actually, if you throw yourself in there now, could you actually win that battle? A lot of horses and cannons, that's all we need, that's literally all we need, and this is why we didn't start with, with that many guys here, um, it was just kind of cut off that way. Go on in, my friends, go in, and if we lose a few guys here and there, you know what happens. Uh, the Haitians, the father of the Constitution, James Madison, the fourth president of the U.S. of A., and the man titled the father of the Constitution, was a key figure in the founding of our nation. On June 28, 1836, he passed away, much to the chagrin of those close to him, who wished for him to follow the tradition of Thomas Jefferson and John Adams, who both died on Independence Day. I think it was John Adams died after he Jefferson? I can't remember, but... This man helped make our nation, and he will be missed, which is weird that we got in 37 instead of 36, but... Oh well, my friends. We just killed off 4,700 Haitians. I just... Every time you say that, you gotta put a smile on your face, right? What happened to those extra soldiers we just had? Doesn't matter. Um, you know what? So, oh, actually, you guys are Dixie, Dixie, Dixie. We want to save these soldiers, so we're not gonna send them down. Yankee... Okay, you guys can come over, too. Just because... <clears throat> like I said, this, this is gonna be a short campaign, because... With Blood and Iron... The reason we're playing Blood and Iron is because with Blood and Iron, you get to form a certain circle that's quite golden if you take off enough territory for Mexico, or really just kill them off and eat them all up. So, that's a, that's a goal for this campaign. Like, it's going to be a long campaign-ish, sort of, that we're going to form 
A very nice circle that is golden, but we have a colliery disaster. The black smoke pouring out from the pit and long drawn out billows reeks of coal and fire, and the intensity of the smell almost drowns out an undertone of burnt flesh. Ooh. A hurried commotion breaks out as the survivors of a great explosion of 37 scurry to save what is left of the coal mine. The seams in the coal field lie, sleeping for centuries, embedded in the pockets of methane. Ooh, gassy. A carelessly lit lantern, a spark from a pick, striking a rot, and a sea of heck fire. Blame local management? The laborers are careless. Uh, Illinois. Who likes Illinois? Hmm. And also, here's a budget for right now. Oh, what is that? Oh, we can create protectors. Also, we, yeah, we can kind of colonize some more, too, so. We'll get to that right now. Thank you very much. We love Idaho sometimes. Definitely sometimes. In Mexican Wyoming? That is cursed as all heck. Thank you. As well as this. Montana. And now we definitely gotta get Washington and that group as well. Our uh, industry's not too great, but we're working on it right now. We're definitely working on it. Alright. So there's only three guys here, which isn't very much, but it takes time to take out people. Underground Railroad? The Underground Railroad is an informal network run by abolitionists of very increasing colors, dedicated to helping slaves escape from southern slave states to the freedom in the north. We have every reason to believe that Kansas City has recently developed into a hotbed of railroad activity. We keep up pressure on local politicians to combat their activities, but only at the risk of stirring up abolitionist sentiments in the North. Leave it be? Shut it down. Hmm. Believe that Kansas City has recently developed a hotbed. Combat their activities. Leave it be? Uh, I think we need to shut that type of thing down. And we're on right now with the Democratic Party here, and we can do the Trail of Tears, House Gag Rule, Kansas Nebraska Act. So there you, we'll read about these later on. I think oh, silence election events. Silence all mid-election events that request you to influence the country's political leanings. Starting and ending election events will still, still happen as normal. You can revoke these decisions anytime. Or at least vassal manifest. Ooh, yes. Oh yes, we're gonna be have romanticism and state and government. And then we gotta kill off Mexico. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Clay Douglas Draft, of course. Anxious, average Consciousness. The Wilmont Proviso. Not bad. Uh, Kill Canal, Suez Canal. Pretty normal. Change ref reforms of releasable nations. Change national value, which is nice. And academia. Um, where is that one I'm thinking about? We have these three we could do. In which you need to have at least consciousness, some consciousness, and some consciousness. Uh, where's the one about Cuba? I forget which one is it. I don't think it's this one. It, I don't think it is that one, no. Well, we can do at least one of these. Let's see. Three. Three. Let's do the one that's... Well, that's one of those more things to do. The Trail of Tears is an English tradition of the Cherokee name for the forest relocation of the greater Cherokee nation. From its homelands in the southeastern U.S., Georgia, Tennessee, Alabama, etc., to the newly established Indian territories in Oklahoma. By the Indian Removal Act of 1830, enacting this decision that lies with our other, with, within our prerogative. Well, if we didn't do this, we probably would have killed them all. Hmm, I don't want to do that one, but they get that as a core. Well, that's not nice. We can save these for later. Cool. Isaac Hall is gone. Goodbye, Isaac. And we need, okay, so one of the reasons why we need Haiti is just because uh, we're going to need an island. Because, like I said earlier, this is going to be kind of gamey. Actually, it's going to be very gamey how I'm going to do this and just, like, get rid of a, <clears throat> uh, a certain amount of people. Like, yeah, it's going to be very gamey to do. My apologies, but we already have people here? Okay. I thought we already had people here. Santo Domingo, please, thank you. The ghetto. I'm not sure we can be bothered. Immigrants arriving in the U.S. of A. often have small means in both terms of money and in terms of opportunity. Many of them have wound it up in Jackson's poor quarters, and those quarters are increasingly taking on the characteristics characteristics of a ghetto. It could be a good idea to do something about these squalid living conditions, lest they worsen. I'm not sure we can be bothered. Ah, more plurality. Why not? Yeah, I want the one about Cuba. I want to get Cuba because Cuba is part of the thing we want here. So anything else? Nope. And. We need to check out intellectuals very soon, but we have you guys. Ooh, Wheeling, Roanoke. Ooh, actually, you're from Dixie. Actually, some of you are from Dixie. Hold on, let's take a look here. Ah, screw it. Just go back. I'm going to separate these guys because I want to use. I don't mind using both sets of the army. Ooh, but I'm going to save some particular guys. Found in 1833, the American Anti-Slavery Society was an organization on the forefront of the American abolitionist movement. With notable members such as Frederick Douglass and Abby Keller Foster, the society organized meetings, speakings, and even published a weekly newspaper between the 40s and 70s, all with the aim of ab abolishing slavery in the U.S. The society has now opened a charter in Hot Springs. We could attempt to prevent the charter from forming, but that will be perceived as an assault on Republican traditions. Um, I don't know, man. I, I like suppression occasionally. Suppression is sometimes needed for a, a stable nation. Oh, what is this? Horace Mann. 
Politician and lawyer Horace Mann began to reform to the educational system of Massachusetts. Its system of schools became a model for the entire U.S. You can never be too educated. Very true. And we're also doing education stuff here now. Don't worry about the money. Don't worry about it. Mm, let's see. First Roanoke. Well, actually, hold on. Uh, let's see. Dixie, Dixie, Dixie. Those three. And the Yanks are down south. Okay. Cool. So these three are the guys we want to keep alive. These three we can send to Mexico. Cool. Just saying for this campaign. Just saying for this campaign. Infantry, Yankee, Yankee, Yankee. There you go, cut out hot springs. Ah, and we want that one just because I want to focus on the military stuff, but I want to get as much education as possible. And medicine actually would be really, really good to get. Yeah, I like medicine. Let's grab a thing of medicine first. And then maybe some military tech. That'd be good as well. Maybe we'll improve our relations with the UK. That doesn't seem like a bad idea. And maybe the Prussians, because they're actually right in fourth, huh? That's not very good. Not very good at all. No, that's okay, though. All right, so we've got our guys back here. I still haven't organized all these guys up, so. And if we need to, we can go and just blockade them to help. Kill them off a little bit faster. Dixie, Dixie, Dixie. Ah, oh, yes. Um, you know what? Send you up to Manassas for now. You never know what might happen. Anything else here we care about? Not really. Ah, uh, Haiti. Ah, oh, yes, before the end of the month. Okay, so here's the deal. Hispaniola granted statehood. Another astounding victory for the U.S. of A today, as it has now become clear that Hispaniola will, as has been expected for some time, be taken up into the American patrimony with full rights of national statehood. One question that still remains to settle is, however, the issue of slavery. If slavery can be extended within our country, and the question on the table is whether we wish to extend the institution to Hispaniola or not. Do not? Free states? What the heck do you mean, free states? No, 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 no. We love our rights. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, no, the same thing for Wisconsin. Did you know, historically, this is totally true, totally not making this up right now, that uh, Wisconsin was a slave state? <laughs> the history books are lying to us, aren't they? Cool. All right, let's go down here and do wee, because we can make more money. We need more money right now, because the budget's not looking too good, and we want to build up a lot of things. And, okay, so these guys are gone. So, okay, so here's the deal. You think this is a normal campaign, and this pretty much norm actually is, but, um, realistically, so... In most campaigns, especially when I play HFM or HPM on the channel, I save scum a lot to basically get us into different areas where we can take over land. For this campaign and maybe subsequent campaigns, please let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Instead of doing that and jumping, 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 where I have like 25 save files or saved videos to put into one video into a single thing, I want to do the entire, or at least most of this campaign, showing you everything that I do. Just because, there's like on screen, there's an event that happens. Some of the time, not all the time, but some of the time when I play Vicky 2 and I'm recording or I'm just like trying to get to the next area where we can take over someone else, I can't show you these events. But I still want to save scum a little bit. So in exchange, I've decided to modify our monthly infamy decrease. So normally it's minus 0.1 infamy whenever we, you know, when we're at peace. But I decided to increase it to minus 0.3. This way, I don't need to save scum almost at all. Not really too much, actually. And I can still show you guys pretty much all of the events that happen because there's quite a few events that I don't show you on screen. So, I think that was okay compromise. That was actually recommended by the same Discord mod. 0.3 uh, infamy lowered every month in exchange for showing you pretty much everything I do. But Unitarianism in America. The rise of numerous sects within Protestant Christianity in the USA in the early 19th century would create an environment for further theological speculation. One of the most influential movements to arise from this would be the American Unitarianism, emphasizing the role of reason and understanding theology and thus rejecting the concept of the Trinity and the inherent goodness of humanity and its capability for improvement because of reason. Unitarianism would become the very influential among upper and middle class uh, populations in the northeastern USA and encourage several movements of social improvement, from public education to abolitionism. Faith and reason could be reconciled to improve humanity. We'll see about that. Oh, what do we have this? House clap. Ooh, what is this? House gag and we have... I thought we just did one of these. No, we did Trailer of Tears. Ah, there's... That's four. Is there nothing about Cuba here? Ah, oh, there's the Corwin event, man. Ah. What is this one? No, that's not it. No. Oh, it is. This is Manifesto, right? Cool. That That's what we want. That's what I definitely want to get. Uh, proposes that the island of Cuba should be annexed to the U.S. as a slave state to balance the expected influx of new free states in the West. By supporting the Manifesto, we can calm tension over the slavery issue domestically, but it might reduce our standing with the European great powers significantly. So to do this, we need more consciousness. And then we basically piss up all the other great powers. And we get a uh, place, or sun casts its belly. Place in the sun casts its belly against Spain. Cool. That just means we got to increase our military strength by a whole bunch. And research, 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 research. And you guys get over here. Thank you. And we'll split these guys up. Uh, just going to delete whoever we have right now. It doesn't really matter. Just get everyone that you can over here. So, and so we need a lot more consciousness. So next up, we're going to get a lot more military stuff. So that'll be good. 
And, oh, you all can get on the boat. Nice, 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 nice. Head yeah, on over, guys. That'd be good. That'd be very good. And you guys are the good dudes. And, do 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 Go. There's no reason I'm putting these, these, these particular soldiers right next to Washington, D.C. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Thank you. And get a port, because we need a port, probably. Thank you. Well, we've reached the Pacific, my friends. Mexico's got to die now. Eventually. Uh, Nicaragua, we're kind of okay with that. Uh, good, we're good. And these guys will show up very soon. And there they are. Cool. Alright, so you're from... You're Dixie soldiers, huh? We're going to need 30,000 men like this. Very, very nice. And what is it? Calvary, Yankee, Yankee, Dixie. Yankee, Dixie. Well, screw it. Just delete them all. Just because... Uh, let's see. I did put Manassas as a rally point for us. So here we need what? One infantry and one more artillery. One infantry and one artillery. And actually, with this mod, we do have a thing called Stormtroopers. We must discover infiltration to build it, which gives you a lower defense, because infantry has five and five for attack and defense. But Stormtroopers have eight and then three, so these are, like, really good on offense, but pretty bad on defense, so. We have no more Dixie Soldiers that we can really spare, which sucks. So we're going to make some uh, Haitian guys. And also, because this is, this is America, or this is just Vicky 2, which is one of the th This is one of the things that I would love uh, to see in a modern game. Vicky 2 is kind of modern, but not really. I can't wait. I can't wait till Vicky 3. But like, you can see the populations. I love it. You see all the Yankees in Ohio. You see the mixed African American and Dixie cultures, and like all over the South, including uh, Native American miners down here. You got some Texan culture for here too. Afro American. You've got Native American miners. You've got a lot of Dakota up here. Just oh, so good. Ah, very Texan there, huh? Very Texan. Moral Crusaders, one of the impacts of the religious revival in the USA in the early 19th century, would be sustained campaigns against perceived vices by those who believed that they were doing God's work by attempting to stamp out such behavior. Saloons were often a favorite target of such crusaders, and on occasion saloons and their patrons would be physically attacked by the zealots. Wickedness must be stamped out. Sounds very cool. More, oh, we get it again. Nice, and let's take a look. So right now, we are trying to improve our people here in Tennessee, which we want a lot of intellectuals. And which are 1.3%, and South Carolina. South Carolina and Tennessee are known hubs of intellectual activity, my friends. Iowa is now a state. A slave state, even though there's no slaves down there. No, we're good. Okay, guys. And actually, we probably want to influence more people. Hmm. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's influence Argentina too. Why not? Whoopsie. There you go. And we do have enough of this to uh, improve our relations with these guys. Actually, we can go to war with them. I don't know what we can go to war with them for. What is it? Acquire a core. British Washington. Eh. We'll wait for that first. 27th. And we're making a little bit of dollars. More Crusaders. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm waiting for the infamy to go down even further. Just so we can go to war and pretty much take other people out. Portugal. Oh, yeah, Portugal. Sweet. I love Portugal. So, if I want to take out someone else. We do want to take out Cuba. So, we will get a lot of infamy because of that anyways. Uh, 35 score. We have 30. Ours isn't that great right now. Actually, we still could build... Ah, now we can build some more. That's good. So we need one more horse. No, no, we need one more. One more. Dixie, if we can. Dixie infantry, yes. And then one more cannon for Dixie as well. Hmm, but it's not going to really work there. That's fine. We're trying to spend as much as we can on education, too. So, that'd be nice. And we're making this guy good. Wickedness must be stamped out. So we have what? We're going to use both armies here. Let's combine these guys for now and we'll like delegate what we need to do here. Uh, sure. Against Spain? That could be really good. End of the Federal Republic of Central America. Oh, that's cool. Let's see. Yankee, 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 Yankee. They're all Yanks here. So if that's the case, I'm going to get rid of one, two. And then we're going to make some more Yankee different types of divisions. So. A treatise on economics. A rally has been organized in one of our states by members of the American Chartist Club, calling for the extension of voting principle privileges on to broader strata of the voting publicum. While common and relatively orderly on the surface, the rally might get out of hand at any time. Police are standing by, ready to intervene, and some among them are even, even seem eager to. Obviously, we must take pride in this public publication. Certainly, this is only propaganda designed to exploit the working class. Absolutely, but we need some more prestige. So, Mexico declared one of Los Altos. Mediate Belgian independence. And poor debating, huh? More Crusaders, thank you very much. And we take everyone away from here, right? Cool. We love Haiti. Haiti, I can use more intellectuals. Actually, oh, what is this? Change your name. Anja Wesi what now? 
Anya Yezikirska. Is my name unpronounceable? Kind of. Would you like to change it? It could be very difficult for you to get a job otherwise. Unpronounceable names and strange spellings could cause trouble for jobs seeking immigrants. Change it to Anja Jasek. I will keep Anja? Nah, Jasek sounds much better. We have some Armenians here. Oh, established in 1816 by African-American members of the Methodist community of Philadelphia. In the 30s and 40s, the AME Church would rapidly expand its membership m among both free and slave populations in the U.S. during the era of religious revival, providing a spiritual outlet for African-American community completely under their own control and direction and a new platform for challenging the continued practice of slavery in the Union. God or Father, Christ or Redeemer, man or brother. So we got Armenians here. And we got Serbs. The Serbs love Haitians. They didn't know that. As well as the Armenians and the Carabinos. God, this is a mess here. But we love it. It's our mess. The Kowloon incident. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, so how do we build up that infantry yet? We just need to let them go on. Founded in 1833, the American Anti Slavery Society was an organization on the forefront of the American abolitionist movement. Uh, actually, I read this one already. So, leave them be, suppress the society, uh, open a chart in Wheeling. Oh, so this is Wheeling now. Abolishing? Leave a beat? No, 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 no. Let's not go too crazy. Mobilizing? Oh, wait. We built a railroad? In the province of Watertown. I don't remember building that. Um, I don't know where that is, but okay. Well, uh, who's going to war? Well, guys? Oh, no, that's put our relations against them. Wow. Ah, the Opium War. Very nice. War justifications? No, nothing's going on. That's very nice. Temperance League. And for each of these like that pop up again and again and again, I will read these once at a time and then just kind of keep going on. With the ravages of alcohol taking a daily toll on our people, tearing away every day with newfound intensity, and the moral and spiritual fabric of our national character becomes imperative for us to bond together in defense of public virtue, and to educate and uplift the poor and the downtrodden to the virtues of temperance. For quite some time now, our country has been dealing with increasing with increases in the consumption of alcohol, oh no, readily available in cheap and distilled spirits in combination with hard-working conditions, make the poor classes especially susceptible to this deadly poison. It comes as no surprise that an American Temperance League has been formed. What's wrong with a few drinks? An excellent initiative? I want that prestige. And everyday needs for the poor people? Goes down. Nice. Alright, so you are looking not too bad. Please, wait, where's that division? Did we make that? I thought we made the extra, t uh, not tank, the uh, Kaboomer. Um, uh, where are my Dixie soldiers? Oh, whatever. Alright, so you guys have, need one cavalry and five artillery pieces. So, let's go with, well, Hartford, huh? There you go. And I'll move you guys down there just to accept all your peoples. Oh, here we go. Now we can do this. Um, the Corbin Amendment. Oh, this is going to hurt us badly. No, we can't do that one yet. Oh, uh, we'll come up here. Oh, oh manifesto? Yes, please. Nice. So now we gotta go to war with them very soon. Because we have a war goal until like 1840 sometime, so. And actually, we're not allied with any of the great powers of the world. They don't like it. Like us. Actually, well, I guess it makes sense. People don't really like us. These guys really don't like us. How strong are they? 37th score. We're 31. We definitely could use more ships and power. Hmm. Prussia would be good to increase relations with two. If that's the case, we have. Man, these ships are not very good. Commerce traders. Man of wars. Go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. There you go. Spend a lot of money on them. What we're gonna have to do. More Crusaders, cool. We're gonna be stamped out, absolutely. And we could probably do the Clay and Douglas draft. Senators Henry Clay and Stephen A. Douglas have presented a draft proposal for a compromise on the slavery issue considered on the premise of popular sovereignty as a determinant for slavery or abolitionism in the state territories. By supporting the draft proposal, we could calm tensions over the slavery issue for at least some time. There will be no war today. Maybe later on. Austria fears a might, so be it. Oh, what's this? How do we get rid well, that's okay, that's nice. So when you go to war with these guys, well, I'm not sure by when. Let's say by March of 1840. Ah, uh, suppressive society, very good. We love suppression. How are we looking here? Do we have enough intellectuals yet? No. South Carolina? No. Definitely not. How is uh Hispaniola doing? Not bad, not bad, actually. Serbians, not assimilating. Do we have any Yanks, at least? We have some Albanians! Anything else here? We got some Basque peoples? We do need to increase... Oh, wait, why am I doing intellectuals? We need to do bureaucracy first. Oh, my goodness, my apologies. Yeah, it doesn't really matter too much, but still. No, not these guys. Cool. Now we're making a little bit few dollars. Now we're okay. Oh, and we made this, these guys as well. That's good. 
Keep making them, keep making them. We're going to a big old army. Good, good, good. Now let's go ahead. Since we're going to go to war soon, pretty much. Very soon, actually. Let's go and grab some army professionalism. Actually, with our research. Oh, that actually hurts. Minus 10. Oh, that sucks. Minus 10%. Oh, boy. And let's see. Segregation. Newly arrived immigrants in Little Rock are finding it hard to assimilate into the broader American populace. And many among the local population have come to view them as an alien presence. Immigrants live in separate areas of the city, go to separate schools and shops, and generally have very little contact with the extended community. They must be integrated by force. Seems the locals have the right idea there. Cool. Okay, huh? And actually, I love this thing too. We're actually still getting quite a few immigrants. 200 some? Not bad. Give me all your immigrants and I want to assimilate the living crap out of them. I'm going to assimilate them so hard. Yeah, North Germans here too. But we have no Yankees, so that's not going to help us out too much. Uh, where are we going? Oh, they're right. Little Rock, yeah. Little Rock. Nice. Who's actually coming over here? We got some Greek people assimilating. We have... Um, anyone else? Oh, they're working on Seamer Convoy. That's kind of cool. We got some Basque people there, too. Alright, we got an election coming up. Now it's vac vaccinations. Stick me with those jabbies. Alright, so that's the case. We'll probably send these guys down to Cuba pretty quickly. More Crusaders. Nice. Nice. Uh, yeah. Very cool. Alright, let's get ready to go. We're going to go into debt, probably. So, lower the education budget. We need more bombs, more war. We don't need no education. <laughs> Social spending, no thanks. More Crusaders, very good. Give us one more month, and we'll do it again. And we'll head... Oh, more population growth. Aero, bacteria, and antiseptic principles. Very good. Alright, this is probably a really bad idea, but you know what? I'm going to share with you that I'm not a perfect Hoi 4 player, a Victoria 2 player. So, you can see all my saves right there. Cool. And we'll get down there, and let's continue increasing our relations with some other people here. I don't want to piss off too many people, so. All I want is Cuba. Holy crap, that's a lot of guys, actually. Wow. Um, hills. Is that good for defense? No, it's not. Oh, mountain. Mm, coming down here would be really good, actually. Go to Cuba. Actually, go down there. Uh, one faith, one faith only. Yes, please. Orderly election. The American election is underway and so far has proceeded smoothly. Debates are being carried out in the usual manner and there are no reports of violence in D.C. or elsewhere. Supporters of the ruling regime have turned out in force and have, as, has, have the hopeful seeking to defeat the current government. We get the ongoing elections, giving us more population consciousness. We shall see. Okay, we'll see what happens. Santiago de Cuba. Argentina goes bankrupt. And that one always happens, so it doesn't really matter too much to us. And let's see what happens when we do this. And we want... It's just called Cuba, right? Yeah. Santiago de Cuba, but... Cuba. Cuba. We don't have any allies yet. Cool. And they refuse to join. God dang it. Alright, well, we've landed. Let's get let's get the heck out of here real quick first. The war dominates the election. So far, the war has dominated talk in the election with a number of jingoistic politicians rather than the people with fiery speeches. We must protect the U.S. of A, they cry. The U.S. of A must be mighty. It seems they are being listened to, as so far they've enjoyed success with the country. Encourage your jingoists? Nice. I want more jingoism. Uh, either you join the war with us, or we're going to get you killed off. Or just not be allied with you anymore. Yeah, that's Venezuela. Hello. Look, man. You say you want an alliance, but you refuse to come into the war, so be it. You guys are still at war too, huh? And there you go. Paraguay goes bankrupt? Okay. Alright, so before we move on, I want to make sure that we get our guys down here first, because I want to defend in that little area, just because that would be really good for us, realistically. And, uh, okay. Oh, why are we even prioritizing them? Well, that's weird, okay. There you go. If you want a little bit of love from America, you can have our love. Mmm. Man, war is good for business. Head on down, my boys. And I guess we can do Kansas and Nebraska Act. By enacting the Kansas and Nebraska Act, we will effectively repeal the Missouri Compromise of 1820 and allow popular sovereignty to determine whether slavery should be or should not be allowed in the former colony of Louisiana and the territories presently created out of it. Abolitionists will resent this for us, but it might be necessary to prevent the sundering of our union. C'est la vie. It is what it is. And how are the bureaucrats? Eh, okay, so use more work. Are ships down here yet? Oh, national debate. Voting rights. 
No one gets voting rights. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, and that they are endowed by the Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. Hmm, universal voting, loose plurality. As much as I want to do this one, we're going to do this one just because I do want to get some more reforms done. Full citizenship, and our guy should be here very, very soon. So if we do get attacked, well, we'll be good on defense. Ish. Ooh. Oh, before we do that one, uh, let's see, how good are you in defense? Plus three defense? Nice. They declare victory. The American election has ended, with the leader of the Conservative Party declaring victory from the steps of the Presidential Palace in Washington. Presidential Palace? Ooh, the Palace of American People have spoken nice. If that's the case, uh, head on back down here, guys. Zach oh, Zachary Taylor, that's actually really cool. Let him come in first, and then... We definitely need more morale. There you go. Spend a little bit more. Oh, that's not good. Kill them all off. Hey, we got heredity. Hmm. Oh, you came in thinking you can kill off 10,000 Americans. No, 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 Spain. You're gonna die now, my son of a gun. Oh, God. That's actually really cool. Zachary Taylor. Yes, please. Hello there. You wanted to attack us? No, sir. Not today. Oh, Spain. We just killed off your entire army in Cuba. This is very historical, as we can all tell here, right? Incredibly historical. Just what God intended. Brazil. We can keep playing this game. You can keep dancing with me. But unless you join, we don't really care. And you know what? We might just use them against uh, the Mexicans. Oh, we love it. Anything here? Anything here? Uh, house gag rule? We like gagging. Don't quote me on that one. Uh, the seemingly irresolvable debate over slavery threatens to tear a country apart. If we were to introduce a gag rule in the House of Representatives, barring bills on the issue of slavery from being presented to the House, we could hope to at least alleviate some of the worst tensions. Ah, let's just ignore it. Also, we are a republic. International value is liberty. Also, in the comments, if, you, if you'd like to see like the maps of any other country in this time, or like any of these, you know, overlays, please let me know in the comments below, because if you're not, if we're not enjoying the overlays here, are we really playing Vicky 2? Of course not. And, oh, nice, pressure chambers for thorax surgery, nice. God, I can't imagine, like, getting surgery in the 19th century, that just sounds so terrible. Alright, so we should be pretty, we already have what we have, so, as long as we defend our territory, we should keep going up, so, which means they will have to peace out eventually. And let's come down here just in case. Uh, they invade us yet? Nope, that's good. And we got another group of ships, awesome, awesome, awesome. And we got some more Yankee artillery, which is fine. We can't make anything else because our guys are not looking too good, which is fine. Whatever. Uh, Havana. Santo Domingo. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's get on, boys. Santo Domingo is calling. Let's go. Aristocracy, or aristocrats incite the peasantry. So, take arms. Impoverished, starved, and hungry brethren of Washington, in the name of our Lord and in defense of eternal rights, let us drive the occupiers out of our native land. Local aristocrats in Washington are arguing revolution against a rule. We could confront them now, but then again, it might be better to wait for another opportunity. Uh, crush revolters? Uh, oh! Hmm. Hmm. Eh, well, there goes the population. <sighs> Spain. Spain, you've lost! You've lost! Oh, can we add more? Oh, pay reparations. Sure. We love reparations here. And back to Cuba, just in case. Havana. Or Havana. Is there somewhere else? Uh, we could probably... Oh, Puerto Rico would be... Actually, mm, Puerto Rico would be very nice this time of year. Peru goes bankrupt? Well, sorry, Peru. Sucks to be you. Give me my money. It's... Per would, would, oh, well, actually. Would Peru be the Greece of our timeline here? I mean, don't get me wrong, we don't have a lot of money either. Oh! Hey! A prophylaxis against malaria! We don't like malaria. So now, what do people want? The voters want what? Universal voting? Well, they're not going to get that. Um. Yeah. Well, Pop Milky does go down. And you get more immigrant attraction. Oh, that actually is 29% immigrant attraction there, huh? Weighted wealth. Well, gerrymandering. Uh, I don't want to do universal. I really don't. Cassis Bella acquisition speed. It was already so bad before. I'm going to do uh, based on population. Just so we can get that one. The Armistad decision. In a ruling delivered today, the Supreme Court has decided that slaves involved in the violent rebellion aboard the Spanish schooner Armistad. 
Amistad of 1839, later apprehended near Long Island, New York, were merely in light of the outlawing of the transatlantic slave trade, acting in defense of their personal liberty. The case is viewed as a landmark victory for the abolitionist movement, and public awareness over the slavery issue is rising. Oh boy. Ooh, the National Convention. Several representatives of the southern states oppose the talk of secession that are being voiced in the more extremist circles. If we informally endorse a convention between them, they might be able to calm the secessionist mood. Relax, guys. We still have Spaniards to kill. It's okay. Uh, now that, that, that should give it up to us. Uh, I don't mind adding more war goals. Can I have money, too? No? Darn. Well, they rejected us, so it's their fault for not doing this, so. Oh, yeah, we still have some more stuff here. Spain. Baby. Spain, baby. Spain, Papa. Papa Spain. You've already mobilized. And you're still sucking a fat one. Is there anyone else? Anywhere else we can send these guys? Um, any, any more influence? I don't want to send them over here. I'm, actually, for Spain, their military, they're mobilized, of course. Oh, their score is 41. They're rank 8th in the world. I don't want to send these guys over because they could potentially die. So let's come over here and combine our ships. And then maybe blockade them. That should be enough for us to do some good stuff. Fugitive Slave Act. 50 ships. And we have a lot of transports just because transports are really good because they get killed first, I think, if I remember correctly. And Vicky, too, so... And good. Let's send them on over. And no, we're looking pretty good. Warships to the Spanish coast, please. Thank you. Go cool. get rid of that stuff too. Anything over here, Portugal? Oh, they kind of like us still again. Nice. Spain, baby. You're not going to be able to do this. Actually, wait. Nope. Still going to accept the offer, huh? Anything there? Nope. Underground Railroad? Mm. Mm hmm. Shut it down. It's probably a really bad idea, actually, for sending our ships all the way over here, but it might just help us put some more pressure on them. Or just kill off our entire navy. One of those two. Come on, Spain. You've got to give it up. We have Quarta Cuba. We're blockading them. Soon enough, I will send these guys back just because they're not really good. Inspired nationalists. Nationalists in the U.S. of A., inspired by the wave of liberalism a neighboring nation, have risen up. Agitators are running throughout the streets, waving flags and calling for the brethren to fight for freedom. Responding with violence could inflame the entire state, but the American officials agree that this cannot be allowed to continue. In Hispaniola. Alright, once it hits 50, maybe once it hits 42, then we'll go ahead and send them back, depending on how bad these ships are hit. And, come on. And more liberal support, that's not too bad. Now the Webster-Ashburn Treaty. We have concluded a treaty of the UK, resolving several long-standing border disputes between our nations. In particular, the treaty has clearly established a border between Maine and the British colony of New Brunswick. Great. Oh, wait, this is too nice. Um, meetings allowed. Um, gerrymandering. There you go. Get some more support. We've got Southern Democrats, Federalists, Whigs, Spain. Come on. You've got to give it up. You're not going to keep Cuba. All right, I'll send these boys home because I don't want to lose all the ships here, so... Let's go take some time for the get home anyway, so. Uh, yeah, we're just kind of hanging out, having a good time then. Researching army professionalism, because next up we got to beat up a lot of Mexicans. Because we love the Mexicans. Uh, expand the port, why not? We're going to need a lot more money, too. What's going on here? Oh, the Treaty of Nan King, the Unequal Treaty. Uh, demobilizing. Ah, see, now we're losing a lot of the warships. Yeah, that's really bad. My bad. I should have sent them a little bit earlier. Oh, well. Actually, where did our navy go? Did I kill them off? I might have just cut off the entire navy. Whoops. Oh, well. Ralph, Ralph uh, Waldo Emerson's first collection of essays was published in 1841 and introduced the world to a new, rather mystical philosophy indigenous to the New World. Although many Europeans didn't consider much of a philosopher per se, his influence on continental thinking was unmistakable. Most significantly, a Nietzsche's speech is a kind of act. So, my bad. That's why we're making so much money now. Screw it. Yeah, I lost all the ships. God dang it. I'll go two and go one, two, three, four, five, and then go... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now we're going to lose a lot of money. Oh, well. doesn't matter to me. We'll make some more money later on. We're Americans. We'll find a way to make money. We'll find a way to get another dollar. Um, ideological thought. Yes, please. Let's go. Our nutrition is very bueno. They'll give it up eventually. They annex my sword. Oh. Oh, we have crisis seas already spawning. Oh, that's different. Actually, we don't need to see that one. And we're getting better for bureaucrats. Oh, they started blockading us. Well, I guess that makes sense. If that's the case, go ahead and don't do that as a naval point. That is my bad. Well, I'm still learning Victoria too, apparently. Huh.
I mean, I don't understand why Spain is not giving it up. Hmm, big sadness, huh? Hey, that's not too bad. What, what, what's the crisis over? Hold on. Let's go look. No, no, no. We want to increase relations. There you go. Prussia. There you go. France. Hello. What's the crisis over? Um. Oh, is it Ireland? Oh, yeah. Sure, Yucatan. Yeah, that's cool. Aust oh. Okay, well. Good job, guys. Good job. Mexico? Nope. This is really sad. Spain just will not give it up. And you guys can all come here first. There you go, there you go, there you go. Show them all together. Uh, that's actually not too bad. Merchants harassed. On the subject, I would like to bring up the issue of a merchant operating out of one of my constituencies, who wrote to me last month with the most distressing story of how trade goods have been seized by his customs officials in a foreign port. Again, I can only reiterate that further tolerance of these abridgments of the unrestricted freedom of international trade will only serve to compound the problem further with every year that passes. NMP, known for his ardent support of free trade, has held a speech in Parliament today, detailing grievances against the foreign power. I oh, hope Mexico. Uh, we could do that, but we got to wait here first a little bit. So you guys are all convoys, 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 basically. Um, ooh, yes. Don't worry, guys. We are getting ready to rescue the coast. Because I was being a ding-dong earlier. Uh, immigrants? More plurality? Thank you very much. And we're making more money, too, still. So, Fugitive Slave Act. By introducing a federal Fugitive Slave Act, we can enforce the return of slaves to their owners in the slave states. Doing so, at least for some time, calm southern fears of abolitionism. Or abolition. Oh, yes. Now we'll give them universal, because that'll be okay. Way more voting, please. Thank you. Academic training. Nice. Now, can we go ahead and save these guys? There we go. That took way too long. Spain, you are pathetic. Spain is quite def definitively pain. Thank you, and uh, Michigan... Always loved its slave trade. Thank you. Ah, oh, that looks beautiful, isn't it? Ah, uh, just as God intended. But my apologies about that. My goodness, that took way too long to get all stuff done. Alright, so you head on over here, just because I want to be able to select all these guys at the same time. And get to Baltimore. What can we do next? Portugal? Come up to the top. Spain is definitely paying. But we won! And a prestige is not too bad. Prussia, Prussia, Prussia. Thank you. And we gotta beat the crap out of the Mexicans soon. But let's be at peace for a little bit because I do want to save our uh, infamy costs. So we can lower this by quite a bit next. And lower this by half. So we can save a, little, a few dollarinos. Then we can get more education, more administration, stuff like that. Sometimes you just need less war. Which is weird to say for me on this channel at least. Alright, we gotta kill these guys off too. How strong is Mexico? Because we need to get a bigger military. But right now we just don't have it yet. By 48, we need to go to war with them, but we'll see. We can just please stamp out. That's good. There you go. And you guys. Where are you guys at? Oh, you guys are just still down here. That's fine. I'll we'll bring you back home. The Yankees. The Yanks. The Nouvelle Orleans. Throughout the, though the North Oaks is the industrial center of America, then the deep south throws the city of New Orleans, always full of sounds and lights. The epitome of southern prosperity, New Orleans was a hub of trade and immigration, and at its peak was the third largest city in the entire U.S., along with the jewel itself. I've actually studied up on the, Nether not the Netherlands, the uh, New England, New England, ah, New Orleans, baby. Ooh, Knights of the Golden Circle, a secret society dedicated to promoting perceived southern interests in the U.S. by the expansion of slavery, the Knights of the Golden Circle have established a chapter in Grand Rapids. Absolutely, we can attempt to suppress a society, but that will be perceived as an assault on our Republican traditions by the local populace. I think we should <clears throat> leave them be. Also, with blood and iron, we have a special mechanics. So, population, we have pops, of course. We have agricultural slaves. But eventually, supposedly, we also get some industrial slaves, too. Ooh, baby. Oh, let's hope so we get we get those guys. All right, so how are the bureaucrats looking? Very good. Bureau nothing like a bureaucrat in Alabama. Nice. Oh, we've shipped down there, too? Cool. Oh, and we can all come back up to Manassas, too. Or Baltimore for that. Makes it so much easier to deal with. Alright, let's head on up here too. Norfolk, thank you very much for existing. Four and four. Artillery, not too bad. You just need a, a wee bit of uh, cavalry up there, but whatever. Very nice. And send you guys back home too. Uh, I'll keep you guys there for now. Uh, Roanoke, Dixie. I don't want to hurt them, but we need, more. we need a bigger military for now. That'd be okay. It'll be cool. Wickedness must be stamped out. And keep making more money. More money, more better. 
Now, I'm sure there's other things I could be doing right now instead of just like helping out the country. Very good bureaucrats here. Uh, since we're not at war anymore, oh look at that! Ah, oh, give me all that Im those immigrants. Oh look at that! We got quite a few Italians here in Arkansas. Oh, as we said this one earlier, nice more plurality. Thank you. Italians becoming more Dixie focused. Oh yes, please. French becoming Dixie. Armenians, Basque people. Ah, oh, you love to see it. You really do. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love the immigration. <laughs> Even though we're not assimilating them as much as I want to, or you know, we're not treating them with as much love as we could. That's okay. Actually, can we increase uh, railroads? No. Economic, ah, Democrat Party, why? Why do you have to be so laissez-faire? Screw it. Can we hold an election, please? Oh, we, oh, we have to go liberal. I want to go more liberal. I want to get with the Whigs, at least. Or the Federalists. Oh, please go Federalists. We probably won't be able to. Oh, I don't think we would do well. Can we hold an election, maybe? Please. Because we can't choose which party we want. Ah. Okay, so up next, I want more railroads, but... Are the capitalists investing into it? Oh, we can't invest in it. At least have another national focus, which is nice. Uh, let's get some more education, maybe, for now. Maybe. Oh, we'll do some more military stuff as well. Great Irish Famine. The British decided with the Great Irish Famine, do whatever it takes to help them. Oh, the British actually want to help with the Irish? Okay, well, okay, well, good luck with that. Um, ah, my home state. Get them bureaucrats in there, son. Not bad. Looking not too bad either. Oh, do we have some people here too? Uh, Bulgarians. Interesting. We have some Dixie Jews. Now that's weird to say, Dixie Jews. Uh, yeah, just, I don't know. I don't know. Slavery allowed? Yeah, why not? The orderly election, we shall see. Cool. And, uh, that's fine. Just do that. That's fine. Cool. Let time go on. Um, yeah, just head on back home for now. Come on down to Florida. We all love Florida. Let's find the naval base. Oh, it's not even a core state. Slavery trade. Support the abolitionists. Let debate take its course. We will not reform the slavery laws. Nice. We're pissing people off. And go state capitalism. I love state capitalism. Alright, head on down to uh, Mobile, maybe? Uh, go to Hot Springs. They go about hot, hot, hot down there. I wonder what the Navy's gonna be like when the Civil War starts. Oh, the Spirit of Freedom Jack. Oh, Jacobins. Oh, no, 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 Jacobins. Please, no. We're making some serious money now, even though we're taxing the heck out of everybody. Even though I shouldn't be taxing the rich nearly as much. Uh, that's only 17. There you go. Social spending, we don't believe in that. Patriots, and we're going to fight for a country. South Carolina is almost done. Slavery debate. Son. Son. Oh, the Aberdeen Act. Cool. And immigration riots. Riots have broken out in Chicago. Immigrants communities. What a surprise. While formerly citizens, many immigrants feel that the state does not, did not accord them proper recognition and that they do not have the same opportunities as the proper nationals. A police matter at worst. Let us listen to the grievances. Um, eh. I'm unconcerned with that right now. I just want to make a bigger military. I, mean, I guess we could, you know, influence people to hmm, become... Ooh, ooh, clinical thermometers and biannual stethoscopes. Cool. Actually, ooh, is anyone protecting these guys? Ooh, you know what? Let's make a save. Because I always like taking out Uruguay as well. So actually, this goes poorly because the ca Conqueror cast is belly. I want to get them before this thing's anything go ba goes badly here. Now, this is interesting about Blood and Iron too. You can also get uh, annex a substate. Annexing a single state country for our substate, Vassal or Sphereling. Would be really cool. We can make them all puppet, but I just prefer direct annexation. Now, if this goes poorly, I will do some save scumming just a little bit, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully, eh, it's 22. That's quite a bit. I don't want to go over 25. Cut down to size. Mm, that is so much. You know, give me some more time. Give me some more time. I don't want to do it yet. Let them full citizenship. A slavery debate? Nope. And actually, after the functionalism, we're going to go ahead and come over to... Oh! <sighs> Democrat Party, why? Romanticism. Because we want to come over here. It served as one, huh? Well, that's nice. Um, actually, total population is 20 million people. That's not very much. Oh, if you want to read about the French Revolution of 1844, please go right ahead. Uh, I want to build railroads in the south. Please... Yeah, with, with uh, saves coming, I can definitely get things done a little bit more quickly, but whatever. Oh! Fr sure, we'll take a great power alliance. Especially if we can throw you against Mexico, that'd be great. Now oh, we're out at this stuff too. Cool, but it's already 1845, so not too bad. 
Napoleon wins the election. Okay, well. Okay, well, good luck with that. Ah, and South Peru goes bank. South Peru. There's a Peru and a South Peru. Okay. We do want to get these guys too, but we're not looking not too bad. We've taken out a lot of the place here. Oh, secessionist sediments. Talk to secession from the Union can be heard on the streets of Shreveport. In fact, all over Louisiana, there's talk of secession. It's fewer and fewer feel that a meaningful compromise, protecting that peculiar institution, slavery, of the South, can be reached in a climate where Congress moves increasingly towards a position of favoring political reform. Oh. Oh boy. We got a lot of money now. That's actually really nice. Um, how strong is Mexico? Because they're not that strong, really, so. Okay, so the next one, like, once South Carolina is. South Carolina's done. I'm gonna like really encourage more populations to become um that one thing. I can't even think right now. Uh encourage military. So we could risk it against Uruguay, but coming down to Norfolk. And we still can't do this yet. Uh no we cannot. That sucks. And give us one more month and we'll do it. Oh, flood on the Mississippi. Along the Missouri, Miss Upper Mississippi, heavy rainfall and inadequate preparations led to major floods, the worst in decades. With the increasing population of the U.S. of A., especially in the areas around the Mississippi and its tributaries, it has become increasingly important to develop a set of levees and ditches to prevent high water from whopping out whole towns. We should have prepared better for this. What happened to those levees? Ooh, ooh, way more assimilation rate, but life rating goes way down. Oh, boy. It's all right. Give us one more month, and we'll begin preparing. Cool. At this point, I feel pretty okay about it, even though, like... Very first thing I did, like off screen, was get caught. So, <laughs> all right, this is probably going to go very poorly for us. But Uruguay should have not a big military, so we'll see what happens. Because I want to straight up conquest them. Please, for the love of God, don't get us. Oh, underground railroad, shut it down. Shut her down, son. Shut her down. All right, that's good. We got through one more month. Well, I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, everyone. So, at this point, we got hit by infamy, but I didn't really care too much. As long as it's below 25, that's all I really care about. And apparently, Uruguay has just gone bankrupt. Not bad. Um, we might do that for to pay that repayment, but I do want to at least conquer them. So, we'll see what happens. At least we already got to the infamy stuff, just because... With that lowered infamy, I think we'll, be, we'll do okay. Ooh, Mossy. To, oh, a southern belle. Clad in her white dress, strolling down the streets of Marquette. Her radiance, nobility, and simple beauty turns head, speaking her gentleness, kindness, hospitality, and accent, all draped in the flavors of magnolias, soft cotton, and southern verandas. To the same virtue, honor, and dignity, and manifest form, such other women of the South. A toast to Dixie. To our knights, to our southern labor. Ah, Michigan. Wait. Wait, hold on. That's a Michigan? <laughs> that is a Michigan! <laughs> A southern, a southern ladies in Michigan. Uh, nothing like a woman from Michigan. Thus, to all nights, my friends. And then after this war, we gotta go to war with Mexico. Let's just be real here. And uh, actually, because we're only like 60% of the way there, so it really sucks. Because we have universal voting and a free press. God dang the press. Uh, integrated by force. Eh, seems whatever. Yep. Oh, good, good, good. I like that one. And we got enough uh, influence here. Actually, I forgot to look. Oh, this looking over here. 100% is good. Very nice. Uh, actually, where's our population centers at? So we got these guys, these guys, that's be good. Uh, just convert it over to, uh, and, oh, actually, you know what? Let's get some more Yankee soldiers. Because they love fighting and dying in wars, right? And let's do Pennsylvania, too. I'm not trying to kill off our soldiers. No! First Minister appointed? Our new First Minister is an old guard aircraft. I'm sure he'll do the, be perfect for the job. Uh, okay. Sure, why not? And then we go and eat a horse boy, so. Please let us just build one of these people. Smithsonian Institution. The U.S. Congress founded the Smithsonian Institution, which reports directly to the President. Its goals were and remain the support of research and expeditions, as well as the popularization of science. There are more things in heaven and the earth. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Actually, you know what? Screw this one. I still want to do some uh, bureaucratic stuff down here, too, so. Let's get two of them up there, because we do want a, a lot of forces for the war against, against Mexico, period, so. That'd be nice. And because of that, wow, we're boosting this fast. Uh, what do you want? More conservative, more liberal? Ah, uh, for this one. I want more liberal support to get some more forms, really. Ah, uh, we'll do it once. Why not? Oh, we do. Okay. And we do need to pause the game when that happens, but it doesn't really matter too much. Ah, uh, sure. Remove some sphere. Alright, so we need some military stuff. Let's go with artillery, would be really good. I do like artillery, so let's get some artillery. And how close are we? We are super close. At this point, actually, come back over here and influence the UK a little bit more. 
Because I don't want to fight them for Washington. We'll probably get some sort of event with them. And we love these guys too, because they sometimes like to influence Uruguay. Hopefully this is not all for naught. And let's head on down to Uruguay, because it's going to take forever to get down there. Oh, hello, Brazil. Sure, Ecuador. Are they being influenced at all? Actually, how's immigration going? Mission Uruguay, what are you talking about? Oh, boy. I love it. I love immigration so much, man. Give us your immigrants. And I want to assimilate the living crap out of you. Actually, are anyone immigrating to the islands down here? That'd be really cool they were. They still are assimilating down to Santo Domingo. We got Jews down here! And Slovaks! And Italians! <sighs> Warms your heart, doesn't it? Let's give it one more month, though. Just because, uh, I want to get one more thing of infamy cut down. It's still going up a lot, and the Brazilians are doing great. Love it. God, I wish we'd get rid of the Democratic Party. I want to go with state capitalism, man. And, well, plurality for collectivism, nice. And Mexican thong, traditionalism, nice. Alright, my boys, let's head on in. And straight up conquest them. Is everyone going to come in? Liberia, Brazil, Ecuador, and France. Imagine! Like, I was thinking about this off screen. Imagine. You're just a simple man from Uruguay. You, you, you enjoy in life. You're trying to do the best you can for your nation community. And all of a sudden, America goes to war with you and wants to kill you, including the French and the Brazilians and the uh, Ecuadorians. Just, and you're just like, what? Did, you ask yourself, what did we do here? But the Afro Antillian martyr. The hands on the deck clock were 0.5 minutes to 12. His eyes peer across the town square, seemingly undone by the commotion and the risk. He climbs to the podium and he begins to speak for hours. He talks of the Afro Antillian nation, its oppression, its cause, and its future in a language that reverberates with nothing save the clear tones of a just cause. The American Gedams storm the square and soon he's gone, somewhere far away in the city. A bell strikes 12. A young Afro Antillian nationalist is in our custody. What should we do with him? Imprison him? Uh -uh. We have ways of making you talk. <laughs> oh, boy. Hmm. And once these guys are done, uh, we're just going to go ahead and just, like, get them some more supplies that they do need. Oh, rubble scum. Oh, look at that. Oh, boy. Virginia. I love Virginia. We have a lot of money. Actually, I forgot to raise up the budget here. Um, do that a little bit more. Do that a little bit more. That'll help encourage people to actually want to become soldiers here, so. And we won because they all basically died. Oh, well, look at this. Mexican Thaw. And we're okay. And Liberia is something else I'll help you. Uh, Uruguay. Can we have some war gold? Pay reparations, just please. I don't think we're going to actually be able to get that, but that's okay. Moral Crusaders is fine. The American way. Ours is a nation of liberty, where every man is born with inherent right to seek his own destiny. The possibility of prosperity lies within every man's reach. A recent report in a Washington newspaper regards the acquittal of a man popularly believed to be innocent as it served to reinforce their people's ideals. Today, they walk a little more proudly than before. I always knew this to be true. Become more liberal and get more militancy? Nice. And we're making quite a bit of bank here. I love America. Oh no! In South Carolina, who could have seen that one coming? Come on, Georgia. Sweet, sweet, wonderful Georgia. God, I wish we could build up more roads. You know what would be a shame if I built a lot of forts in the south? Just in case people wanted to attack it. Cool. Actually, that's not a bad idea to do right now. Build up forts all over the place. Oh, and the naval base too. In Wilmington, I think I've been there once. I was a kid though, like really young, incredibly young actually. Um, can we piece you out now, or can we still add repay debts? There you go. Conquest of Uruguay, not bad, my friends, not bad. We do want to get. Ooh, time to play ball. And in Cooperstown near New York, the first public baseball game took place. The New York Knickerbockers lost to the New York Nine, one to twenty-three. Peacemakers, great. And there you go. Just because we can. <laughs> uh, we do want to get a piece though quickly though. Ah, uh, iron and blood. Not by speeches or votes of the majority are the great questions of the time decided, but by iron and blood. From Otto von Bismarck. A new rich load of iron ore has been discovered in the Duluth mine, where the ore is rich is also located on a perilous depth that is just beyond the reach of present mining technology. We could attempt to extract the ore, but doing so will carry with it a cost in lives and blood. Dig deep and greedily. So, I did say I wanted to do that stuff, but we do definitely need to get romanticism next, because we're not going to be able to get to the historical... Um, War between us and Mexico just yet, but we'll get there eventually. We'll keep, continue to build ourselves up. Oh, there's another area here. Oh, I thought, I, thought, I thought that was it. Oh, well. Oh. Wait, what happened to Conquest? Wait, what? Wait, what happened to the Conquest one? Um. Wait. What? That's, oh, was, maybe the French did this for us. Oh, the French probably did this for us. They probably pieced it out, pieced out with us, or forced us to piece out with them. 
The French approve of slavery. Not bad. They love slavery down in Uruguay. Did you know that? I did, apparently. <laughs> well, that was quite nice, I would say. Let's see, what are we going to end with? What do people want? Pro-military. Outlawed slavery. Full citizenship. State capitalism. I agree, guys. More immigrant attraction? Yes. If we can get more immigrants here, that'd be really great. But I guess that's going to probably do it for us. For this episode. If you enjoyed it, please, do please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And let me know who else we sh should we take out besides Mexico before we end up causing a little bit of uh, uh, freedom for the states. Regardless, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.